It's loud, it's dirty, and it's somewhat inconvenient. Construction on Lakeshore Drive has now been underway since May. For many business owners, summer is their busiest season. But with a torn up road and detour signs, those like Kathy Biaggi, owner of Richclaff Gallery, business over the last few months has dropped 30 to 50% since years past. You know, I think a combination of, uh, well, people just getting tired of going through it. They're busy with summer stuff and not having the tourist traffic uh, necessarily want to make the effort, you know, take the time to read the signs, to try to find us or just not know. Because before they used to be, like in the previous summers, they could just wander down from the resorts to grab their coffee and a lot of my business came from that. Down the street, Mission Meats hasn't seen much of a change in business, but they are a destination location. However, it's the dust and noise that's becoming their losing battle. Not always is the road wet enough to hold the dust down and the parking lot is filthy and you know you go out there and you clean and it's hard to keep things clean in here but the staff's really good at you know, maintaining uh, that. Business owners and customers alike told us one inconvenience is getting in and out of this parking lot where cars could be backed up to six or seven at a time while they wait to get in or out and that could deter a customer from coming back. Another issue concerns pedestrians. These men weaved their way through a construction maze, unable to find the clear indication of where those on foot should travel. It's a little tricky, a little dangerous getting around there. It would have been nice if the, there's more signage or maybe something to direct you. That would have been great. However, despite the construction woes, Lakeshore was a hub of activity, and there were plenty of individuals who were willing to make the trek to support local business. I wash my car here almost every week. But I stopped for a little while because last time I was here, I got dust all over it. It was freshly clean when I got home. There's little dirt spots all over it. And I thought, oh, you don't wash your car to have it dirty again. But then I thought, you know, this guy's a business owner. I'm a business owner. Uh, it's a nasty situation. So I thought, I'm going to support him and keep coming and washing my car. Uh, like once once a week kind of thing. We don't live around here, but we still come down here because it's close to the gym, so. It's not that bad. We used to come down the other side of Mission Creek, so now we come down the side that's open. Other than that, it's not much, not much of an inconvenience. Completion for the project is for the end of November, and crews continue to work six days a week. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.